All right, for this video, we're going to be testing out this pile, right? High performance car audio power capacitor. All right. Um, I just ordered this thing probably a few days ago. Got it a few days ago, really. And um, hooked it up to my system because my amp is really a, a, a pure beast. This Rockford uh, Fawcett Gate, you see it right there, Prime 1200 1D. This bad boy, small in stature, but it will beat like children in Africa. It, they beat, all right, I got the little Clarion three-way crossover. I'm only running it one way because I really only got it to affect the subs because that's all I want. My bass real, real clean. I can clean my highs up with the stereo. There ain't no problem. But anyway, I got a little Clarion three-way crossover. It's not that great, but it do okay. I'll get into the specs of that later. But anyway, this baby is a beast. I love this amp. Uh, this is my second one. I got another car. I put it in because it is a pure beast. And on the highs... On the highs, I got this baby. The Rafa Fosgate of uh, Prime 400. Um, good cables, everything. Good cables is everything. Uh, and so yesterday, I just put this cap on. You see the digital read, I just went out because I stopped playing the music. But anyway, this amp is drawing so much power. Let's look at the game real quick because that's the truth teller, right? Oh, what are you pushing? What are you pushing? Everybody want to know what you're pushing. You see that game? That ain't on nine. That's on three, right? That is on three, barely a tick in the amp. Plenty, plenty power left to pull on these speakers. So you running the 1200 Fosgate, you really need some power. What you got? Huh? We're gonna run these P3s right here. These two, um, mm, nice chrome bumper too. But um, we're gonna run these uh, Rockford Fosgate P3s, these punches. And these are 600 watts each RMS, right? So the 600 watt RMS, I got them bridged together down to one ohm, so I got 1200 watts of power. My amp can put out 1440 watts at peak, and that's the birth sheet. What you do when you get a brand new Rockford Fosgate amp, they give you the birth sheet, they test it out. And this amp ran 1400 some watts of power, stable. I got a bridge down to one ohm, and so, anyway, it pulls so much power that on the future songs, the deep DJ Kelly bass notes, whatever, um, the amp will cut out. This power light changes from blue to red. And so now, instead of a voltmeter back here, I got this five farad. I don't know if you can see that. Five farad capacitor. It was pretty cheap, so I knew it wasn't a full five, but hey, if it's two, you know, um, even if it's two, that should be enough to handle my system because like I said I'm running less than 1500 watts I'm only running 12 so with 1200 watts I should be good with two fairies um let's check out the sound and let's check out this boy because this is what we came to test we came to test him out and I'm gonna give you my review on him I ain't never really done a review I've been hooking up music since I was since I'm 12 years old right but all right we're gonna see so a little testing in here. Let's see what we got. Got some bass notes in. Almost Volts dropping down to 
piece of crap, bro. And that's only volume 20. That's only volume 20, man. Look at that stuff for his blessings. I can't even lie. That's barely, that's barely, look, that's only volume 15, and that is dropping this cap down to, wow, you really cut out on volume 15, you know, this is worse than when I didn't have the cap. should not be dropping this capacitor down to eight, eight uh, volts, man. Eight volts, really? Really? You keep dropping below 12, you're going to kill my amp. My amp needs constant 12 volts of power or better. Really, 14. So, let's do the test. Look at that. Drop down to nine amps and cut my amp off. Now the high amp don't need that because it ain't pulling that much power. The high amp gonna keep running, but the bass amp. Watch this. Look, volume 15, you really cutting out? Look at that. All right, pal. Pal, you getting two thumbs down, man. You wanna check my connection? My connection is good. Like I said, since I'm 12 years old. Good ground, good solid ground. Power from the battery coming in. Power from the cap to my amp. Less than 18 inches, people. We should be delivering instantaneous power. But the cap is a suck. It is not doing, dropping nine amps. You're trying to kill my amp. My amp was better off without you. So, I don't know. It may be damaged. The amp is performing properly, but... Bro, this is ridiculous, bro. How you gonna, how you gonna sub? How you gonna sub and you can't even keep 12 votes? And that's just volume 15, bro. How you cutting out on volume 15? 13, you cutting out on volume I'm moving at a different frequency and it got me living lavish. I'm a part of steady passion. Trying to wiggle through this madness. Trying to fight this gravity at the time. I swear I can feel it pull me back. But thousands of the cactus. See what's going on with the capacitor, bro. This is, bro. Pal, you got to do better, man. I, I, you know what? I was out of line. Let me just be real. Oh, not even. Bro, bro, this is not gonna work. Hi so my review 13.9 with no music man this should be ringing out the game this 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 setup should really be going but when I added the capacitor the you can see it's worse it is worse. Drop less than 12 volts, you're killing my amp, pal. Wow, you just going to do that to my amp. You can't even keep up. All right, pal, that's going to be a two thumbs down for this one, baby. I got dynamite everywhere. I'm trying to, you know what I mean?
Last time I checked, I was still breathing. My neck was still freezing. Now everybody got an Escobar season. To every baby on the album cover existing.